Hey guys, welcome back to the Crash Bandicoot Walked Walkthrough on the Golfing Gamer. We have been collecting time relics in our past three episodes, one for each warp room, which means we have reached warp room four and we'll be picking up five more time relics in this episode, starting off in Sphinxinator, if I am saying that right, and I believe I am. Off the bat, I come to the very start of the level, as in further back from where we started, we got some time crates which will freeze the clock for five seconds which is very important because we can then run for a huge chunk of the level before we even get to a second. Okay, it's not that huge a chunk but still it helps save some time at the beginning and it's probably the best way to get a good time in this level. Just as, as I am about to do here, I do a slide jump into a tur turbo spin in order to go in a straight line there because as we all know go as the crow flies you'll get there the quickest time something like that anyway I slide just before the nitro crate there second like nitro crate so I can get a good jump and get some momentum to go forward here what you want to do is uh, just spin through these get a bit unfortunate to lose both masks but it's more important to get those time crates because once again the clock has frozen Don't stand too close to that nitro crate, otherwise you will get caught in the explosion. I tried to spin that guy there because I thought I was going to run straight into him, so I lost control for a second. I do a slide jump turbo spin there again, but and here, but I'm not sure that actually saves any time or not. But I suppose you're just standing around otherwise, aren't you? So probably makes sense to try and keep moving. There's a little turbo spin there into that one second time crate probably better off sliding through there because either still cause the TNT crates to explode or you get through and it will clock the freeze before you get to the end which would probably be more useful but in any case I do it in one minute one second and that's good enough for a gold relic and I can see a few ways in which I can get a platinum although I'm not entirely sure what the platinum time is I can see ways to save time which might result in me getting a platinum in the near future or the far future I'm rambling now. We got a gold relic, and we can now move on to the second level of this walk room. Bye bye blimps. As we take to the skies once more, and crash his uh, biplane. And you're gonna watch, wanna watch what I do here, because I don't just shoot the clock straight away, which you can see hanging off that red balloon. I come across to the left a bit. Turn that round, now I'm facing the clock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into that balloon to start the timer and immediately start shooting the blimp straight ahead. Turn, shoot the next nearest blimp, turn a bit further to the left, shoot that blimp down. I do a bit of dodging. It's important to try and keep your health up so you don't have to worry about it so much at the end. It's four blimps down, turn to face the fifth one, already starting to hit it. That's five blimps down. We come to the sixth, again we're pretty close to it at this point so we can start hitting it right away. Seven is a bit further away, but at this point, if you haven't lost much health, you can just focus on getting to the blimp and not dodging. Doesn't matter if you're shooting now, as long as you shoot that blimp. And I do. That ends the timer, ends the level, stops the timer, and it's a platinum. That is how you get a platinum, my friends. And that wasn't a first take of that. That took me a few, four, five again, I think. But the important thing is, I got the gold previously, but I got the Platinum. I thought I could do it, and I did. It's another Platinum in our collection, and more importantly for me, one less to worry about when I come to try and to get all these Platinums, because I already have the footage. Uh, Crash ponders whether he's still afraid of water while Coco uh, jumps through the portal. And here we go again, another jet ski level. And believe it or not, this one was uh, a one-hit wonder, first take. Question is though, is it good enough for a second platinum in a row? We will find out momentarily. In the meantime, I've uh, got some jet skiing to do. And it's all, again, it's important to hit, make sure you hit all time crates because they're all going to be in your path. You hit them, you freeze the clock, you get a good time go to the right of this guy with the anchor here, the pirate of the anchor, because it gives a better angle on those crates there. It allows me to line myself up for this ramp perfectly. This one not so much, but it's only a one second crate there, so it's 
not too big a deal, although it did throw my rhythm off a little bit, that's why I ended up crashing uh, through that pirate in the boat. Get here in a good time so the bomb's not in the way, and three seconds frozen on that clock. Unfortunately, unfortunately I lost my mask because it means I'm got any protection through this. I didn't take that ramp to get to that three second crate because I thought I might jump over it. So you can go around it, it's probably... I'd, I'd recommend that. I'm not sure the ramps actually speed you up or not, but I decided to dodge that one and got this one because I get the three second crate that way. Nice little bit of skill there, just about dodged the bomb, managed to turn enough to get that two second crate. Get our protection back. Uh, which I, I definitely find it helps in these levels because at least you know then if you make one mistake it's not going to result in the restart. It's a shame I couldn't keep the other one because I would have had two hits. It would very handy going through here. That annoyed me, that threw my rhythm off completely. I missed the two second crate and I almost crashed out there. Luckily I managed to get myself together again and carried on. I managed to squeeze through that gap just about. And that one. We've got some more time crates. And we're approaching the end of the level here. I managed to miss that time crate, but luckily managed to just about regain control before I crashed out again. Took the ramp, and the end of the level is just here. 1 minute 22, gold relic. It's unfortunate, but again, I can see ways to save time, and I'm sure a platinum will be coming in the near future for me, though. That's three levels down, two golds, one platinum. Not a bad start to this walk room. Pay our first visit to the future now. Although, technically at this point in the walkthrough it's going to be our um, third or fourth. Good toe has been to get those one second crates, but um, probably not a huge necessity. Unless you get all three of them, in which case you can say three seconds. Also important to make sure you, if you do happen to come across a barrier, like I do several times, you can actually go around them and use a turbo spin to bring yourself back in. Make sure you land in the centre of that platform as well, otherwise, as you saw there, it takes a couple of seconds for the crash to jump back to the centre and then for the platform to uh, start moving. So make sure you land in the centre there. Also, you either spin that crate or jump over it because otherwise you waste time there, as I did. Make sure you do collect the Aku Aku masks and do not take a hit because if you want to get a good time here there are three masks you can pick up, there's number two uh, and as we've seen in previous episodes, three masks grants you the invincibility and also makes you move faster through the level. There's mask number three there, unfortunately you get a bit caught up in the scenery uh, there so I wasted a couple of seconds and also me trying to uh, speed things up there, I wasted a few more seconds, for some reason you have to be completely stationary for the lift to go up. Get a bit lucky there, managed to regain control. Wasted the invincibility a bit, so again I can see where I can save time in the future. Should I come back to it? Should there be a need to come back to it? Uh, should I say? Uh, yeah, slide under there. It's the time great. Went back for it because I thought it takes a bit of time still. At this point I can... I can afford to take hits because the, en the end's just up here. I don't know why I was being cautious and again here I could just walk through perhaps. But they get to the end in 1 minute 31 seconds and that gets me another gold. Although you could probably guess the way that run was going it wasn't going to be a platinum so it's just a question of whether it's going to be a gold or a sapphire. Luckily it was gold. And that leaves us with just one more level to play. And oh my god. You have no idea how many times I drowned this bandicoot. It took me a fair few attempts, probably spent about almost half an hour trying to get a good time here. Because this is one of those levels where everything's already in motion. Things don't start happening, like these things don't start, the water doesn't start going up and down uh, before you reach it. It's already moving, so you've got to try and time that at the start of the level. The best way to do it is to make sure as you're leaving one section where the water rises, that it is just about to start rising, because then when you reach the next section, it'll start going down again. You have 
maximum time to get across. Again, make sure you pick up the Aku Aku masks because there are going to be three of them again and invincibility becomes very important here, not just because of its speed, but because of what else it does. But I'll get to that in a moment. In the meantime, I get a bit lucky here to land on the platform for it to actually um, appear in time. I lose my time in here a bit, which is unfortunate because this probably cost me uh, getting a really good time here. But we get through this section and now the invincibility, you'll see exactly why it's important to get it here. Now the water has uh, fallen again. It will stay like this until our invincibility runs out. So you haven't got to worry now about water rising and falling. It will just stay like this. Anyway, we're approaching the end of the level, and this is where I'm going to say goodbye. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching, until next time, I will see you later.